And, and you're with Rich Woods, Tyler Barnhouse. Uh, Tyler, you guys are getting ready to start the postseason. And uh, I mean, probably a lot of people never considered Richwood as kind of a baseball school. You've got a baseball guy now um, who's running you, Mike McKinney. How has that helped you guys uh, become better baseball players? Uh, I think it's just uh, it's a big confidence boost in the team now that we actually have a coach that's big on baseball. And we've had more kids come out this year than we've had the past years before. So I believe, I mean, we have a young team. I believe next year we could be a great team. Do you have some expectations for this um, postseason? And I ask that because you guys have been in just about every game you play. You played games against uh, 3A schools like yeah. Woodrow Wilson. Um, I know that was an eight nothing loss, but you guys were in that game um, most of the way. Does that give you confidence? And plus, a, a good game against Greenbrier West here recently. Yes. Does that give you confidence going and, and give you um, cause for maybe thinking we can do something in this postseason? Yeah, I, I really, I really like how from the beginning of the year, you know, we had so many errors and so many mental mess ups, and we've dialed that down to so many less. Just errors and we're just fixing our game and we're our craft's getting better i think we'll be a great team do you can do you think this is a school that can become a baseball school as they have been in the past for years they were basketball and, and they had a great football program for a while and i know you play football there at school do you think this can become a baseball type school uh i think i think we could definitely we are like i said our team's really young and everybody seems to be enjoying baseball this year and probably the best sport we'll have what, in the next coming years. What is one um, lesson or one thing you've taken from uh, Coach McKinney? I know he told me that trust the process is kind of the, the motto for this yeah. squad. What's one lesson that he's that you gained from him that has made you a better baseball player? Uh, I have a really bad habit of like getting in my head and he's uh, really helped me with that just to Help me get over my my thoughts and stuff, and it's really helped this year. And what, what would one thing that would, would, would say self doubt or something like that? If you go through a, a uh, like a streak where you're not playing well. Yeah, uh, I was going through a slump, and he, you know, I've never had a coach help me like that, and he pulled me out of the slump, and now I'm back in the the swing of things. Um, a lot of people probably don't know this about Richwood in the area. But you guys don't have a school a school building. Or say you're in pods down in Craigsville, which means you got to travel back for baseball practice back to Richwood, about 15 miles. How tough is that? It's it's difficult, especially when uh, you know there's days there's no school and you live so far away and you got to drive down and it's just uh, and it's on and off. A rainy day we might have practice at our Votech or a dry day we're at the field. It just you never really know. It's pretty difficult. And Coach says that he's added a lot more games for a person <laughs> yourself, like yourself, who likes to compete. Mm -hmm. How much fun was that knowing you weren't going to play like a, a 15 or 18 game schedule? You're going to have a, a full schedule this year. It, it was great. Um, I definitely loved it. Uh, I really, I really like being out there with everybody, uh, especially this year. It's just been great. Do you think that this is a, a team that uh, improved as any? team and in any sport that you've been on I've heard that the process from where you started to where you are now it's been um, that people haven't seen the team grow like that do you agree with that Does yeah I, I believe that the team has grown definitely does it uh, is it exciting that it's a young team that you're gonna be like you said in a year or two you can really start contending for things yes. um, are you guys kind of growing together as as a unit and you, my baseball guy kind of hanging out together. What, what's the mentality in, inside the team? Yeah, I mean, we have uh, we have two seniors. That's all we have that we're losing. Um, and next year we'll come back, and I believe this will be the strongest uh, our team's been. And we're all pretty well connected. We all have good uh, chemistry together, and I think it'll work perfectly next year. An anecdote about you, and uh, as we told before we got started, you've been hit by a pitch in all but four games. Now, talk about your plate approach and what that is. It allows you to uh, get hit like that and, and get on base for your team. Well, um, you know, it started out, I just got hit, you know, the first three or four games. And then uh, I, I come to think about it, 
if I get an O2 on me, then I will crowd plate hard. And if it, I mean, if it's coming at me, I'm taking it. I'm wearing it. And you have, <laughs> you've done. Is it? Is it kind of a run? Kind of I don't want to say it's a joke because getting hit does. It, it can hurt, but it's kind of become a yeah, running thing in, inside the team. I feel like it, it started out as a joke just among everybody, and it's become a thing now. Just, how, how many times do you think you scored runs when you've been hit by a pitch? Uh, I know there's quite a few times where, you know, I've got hit and then stole a base and I've been hit in. I know there's been... So, so when you're cashing in a lot of those yeah. opportunities after you wear it. Yes. Uh, that's, a, that's a good trait to have. And... Uh, I mean, a lot of guys might bail out. You're, you're hanging in there, yep. what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, as a football guy, that's a good thing, too. Yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> hey, Tyler, I appreciate it, and good luck in the postseason coming up. Thank you. Thank you.